The traffic on our roads is becoming denser all the time. Every six seconds there's an accident somewhere, making roughly five million every year in Germany alone. And almost every time, the crash causes damage to plastic parts, creating mountains of waste and high costs. Car owners and insurers are demanding new repair methods that maintain the vehicle's market value. Almost every damaged plastic part is replaced, at least up until now. Around 70% of all reported accidents involve damage to the bumper. Unlike the case with gluing, almost every thermoplastic bumper can be repaired quickly and easily with the motor vehicle repair kit. Advantages which have been confirmed by independent test institutes. All thanks to the unique multi-thermoflex welding rod. Extremely flexible, extremely resistant to formation of stress cracks extremely good adhesion. One welding rod for all thermoplastic materials. Advantages from which you can profit when repairing cracks and fractures. As this practical example shows, a damaged bumper can typically be repaired in just 30 minutes. The method is simple. To prevent the crack spreading, holes measuring 5 mm in diameter are first of all drilled at each end of the crack. Then the material is sanded down one millimeter over a width of barely 20 millimeters at both ends. This is where the stainless steel gauze will subsequently be inserted. The paintwork is then sanded down about 40 millimeters all around the damaged area. And now the professional hot air tool comes into play. Six hundred and fifty degrees centigrade and airflow setting eight are exactly right here. Save this setting in program four. During the three-minute heating up phase, you can cut the stainless steel gauze to exactly the required size. Uniformly soften the rounded gauze with the plastics repair nozzle. First, secure one corner then heat the complete gauze and weld it into place. Important, the plastic material must penetrate the gauze completely. The multi-thermoflex welding rod must then be incorporated. To produce a good bond, the welding rod and area to be repaired must be carefully and uniformly heated. Gradually smooth the material around the edges when the welding rod and substrate have completely melted into one another. And that's all there is to it. Finally, let the part cool, then sand it and refinish it. All done. Torn off lugs can similarly be repaired without difficulty. Start with the stainless steel gauze. Cut it to a length of 60 millimeters with the same width as the lug and melt half the gauze into the plastic material. Here too, take care to ensure that the plastic penetrates the gauze completely. Then carefully melt the multi-thermoflex welding rod into the substrate and smooth the material around the edges. Now for the back of the lug. Fold the protruding stainless steel gauze out at right angles. Mount the lug in the required position and weld both sides into the bumper. Tip. Bend the lug slightly to the other side, it makes the work easier.
When this step is complete, it's time to use the multi Thermoflex welding rod again. Melt it in, smooth the edges and let it cool. Finished. The result is worth seeing. Lugs which have been repaired with Steinel are more robust than the original, as has been confirmed by the Technical Control Board, TÜV. With the help of the Steinel method, repaired bumpers regain their high flexibility and resistance to formation of stress cracks. And it takes only 30 minutes. The innovative Steinel repair kit has impressed professional motor vehicle repair shops and experts and keeps the customer satisfied.